So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. In today's video, we're jumping into the differences between Android Open Source Project or AOSP and Android TV. And of course, two of the most compared devices are gonna be the Nvidia Shield TV, which is running Android TV, and the new Buzz TV Power Station 6, which is running Android or AOSP. So today we're gonna jump into some of the main differences. Also, we're gonna do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So first up, let's talk about Android Open Source Project or commonly known as AOSP. Now AOSP is the foundation of Android. Now this offers fully open source project for developers to create their own Android based operating system. So for instance, this will be, be the same for your phones, for your tablets, for your smartwatches or for your streaming devices. And we'll jump into that here in a little bit. So this means that no Google apps or Google services are included by default. It's a blank slate pretty much an open canvas and this gives the developers the freedom to create a customized experience for the end user so think about the buzz tv android open source project buzz and the developers created what they wanted the users to experience so on the other hand we have android tv which is a specialized version of android designed specifically for your big screen so when i use android tv yes google tv is also a different skin over android tv but let's just use android tv in this example so android tv is built on top of aosp but it comes pre-packaged with google services and a custom ui optimized for televisions so it is designed to be easy for the end user offering features like voice search uh, chromecast built-in content focus interface plus and this is a big one it is directly supported by google which means regular updates and a robust ecosystem of applications now let's talk a little bit about the customization and ease of use now with aosp you get full control guys you can tweak you can modify you can even remove parts of the system to fit your needs this makes aosp perfect for manufacturers and developers who want to create a unique device or experience and on the other hand android tv is about simplicity it's ready to go out of the box with minimal startup required so this makes it ideal for customers who just want to start streaming their favorite shows without any hassle as far as the application and content support when it comes to that android tv shines its vast library of streaming application games and more all optimized for your tv experience you got netflix you got hulu youtube just about everything that you think of as far as aosp on the other hand doesn't come with pre-installed app store developer or device makers would need to integrate their own store to sideload apps so let's talk a little bit about the nvidia shield versus the buzz power station 6. So the NVIDIA Shield, of course, is, is the ultimate streaming device. It's been around for a while. Powered by the NVIDIA Tag One X1 processor, it's built for high performance streaming, gaming, and AI upscaling. It supports Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, makes it perfect for home theater enthusiasts. In addition, this has the support of GeForce Now, which is a godsend if you're a gamer. On the other hand, the Buzz TV Power Station 6 might not have the same raw power as the NVIDIA Shield, but it's still packed full of features that's catered to different crowd so with customizable interface advanced pvr functionality and powerful ir remote it is designed for those who want more control over their viewing experience so we already dive into a little bit bus tv is going to come in android it is going to be a customized version of android from the developers of buzz what you get is not necessarily what you're going to be stuck with they are going to send regular updates but just know that those applications, some of them that you, you really um, enjoy, for instance, your 4K Netflix, those will not be available because it's not certified by Google. So which one should you choose? In my opinion, if you're looking for something that's top tier performance for gaming, the Nvidia Shield is a winner. Uh, one caveat is that the Nvidia Shield is due for an upgrade, guys. So if you can manage to hold off, hold off. If you just look into something for streaming, I'll advise you to either the on 4K streaming pro or even a new Google Chromecast streaming device that's set to be released here pretty soon. Bus TV is gonna give you the option if you're someone who enjoy your IP television and just more control as well as a lot of flexibility as far as your storage option, your NVMe drive, USB drives everywhere. Buzz TV Power Station 6 is a solid device 
and it's worth taking a look. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Hopefully this video helped. One of the same ones just built, customized, certified by Google. What other one is more of a blank slate? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.